guys this is a uh, a quick little video on what I've done to uh, solve the only issue with uh, these bait tanks as you can see I have an, uh, an extreme uh, 20 gallon here in, in the bed of the truck and uh, the, <clears throat> a lot of the problems that people are running into with uh, any kind of bait tank whether uh, it's homemade or bought is uh, supplying power to it and having the convenient uh, options on how to transport and keep your bait alive regardless if you're bank fishing tournament fishing or fun fishing from a boat so I've developed a way uh, well I wouldn't say developed a way but I've uh, redneck engineered uh, a, a solution uh, for the power for these things and uh, you can see this is just a lead wire coming off of it. Um, from the store, this lead was only about a foot long. So I had to add an extra two feet onto that, I would say. And on the end of this thing, I've got these little, uh, I think they're called spades. Now what I can do with these spades is I have uh, different attachments that I can hook up to various things depending on what I'm trying to do with my tank and how I want to use it. If I want to catch bait before a tournament um, from the bank, I can take it in the bed of my truck. Or if I'm hauling the boat, I can uh, leave it in the bed of the truck and still have it powered. Or if I want to keep it in the boat, I also have a power supply there. So let's run through this and uh, see what I've done. This is a two-way. Uh, if you can't get a hold of one of these, one of these will work for you. This is a four-way that I've modified. Now you can see which wires I've left there. Because what this does is I can take this and I can plug it into my uh, truck right here. And then I can take my wires from my bait tank and plug them into where they're supposed to go. So it's important to know um, what wire does what on your uh, four-way. So uh, the terminal that's on the far left, that is your ground wire, the white wire. And the wire right next to it would be your running lines. So that's what I've had he done here. So when I have my truck turned on, and I can cut the running lights on and have power to this bait tank with this setup right here. Now, as long as my running lights are on, I'm going to have power to my bait tank. I can keep my bait alive. Running lights are on. And you can already hear it. So if I'm driving down the road, I want to keep my bait alive. I can uh, leave my running lights on. My bait tank can stay on. And the same thing goes if I'm staying overnight a tournament somewhere I've actually replaced all of my running lights in this truck with LEDs so they don't pull hardly any power and uh, the only power that's being pulled uh, from the battery while the truck is uh, parked overnight would be the pump and the, the pump doesn't pull enough power to drain your battery uh, overnight so that's one option your other option if you're pulling a boat you can't use your four-way because of this. This has to be plugged into the truck. So I've used a couple splitter cables and uh, from there the spades from the bait tank would hook into that and that would give you power and let you uh, leave your uh, bait tank in the truck. And the final option is a cigarette lighter plug with the same thing. 
over here on the passenger side of my boat, I have a, uh, a 12 volt outlet. That 12 volt outlet is a uh, straight wire to the battery. So uh, I can plug this in there and put my bait tank in the boat and uh, have power there. And the, um, the switch here on the right, that is uh, for the extreme oxygen box and that's in the live well. And it's basically the same thing as my uh, tank is. But uh, the reason I have both of those is if I'm fishing a tournament, I don't want my bait mixed in with my fish because that's just going to increase the chances of the fish killing my bait. So uh, I keep them separate. So with these methods, this is going to give you the chance to use a bait tank and not have to lug around a battery regardless of what you're doing and how you're fishing. So I hope uh, these all these attachments have helped out in some way. And uh, this is a really convenient way to uh, keep your bait alive and not have to uh, deal with the troubles that come along with uh, power in these tanks. So uh, I've got some bait to catch for a tournament this weekend in Tennessee. So uh, y'all take it easy.